Beetles are such a large group. We have split them into two different chapters, the scarabs and the other beetles. Now the scarabs are well known, some for their size and others for their beauty. The scarabs are a large family of beetles that vary greatly in size, color, and habits. They're well known for some of the largest and most outrageous species in the world. The Hercules beetle is the longest beetle in Costa Rica, reaching seven inches, and it can weigh up to almost two ounces. The power of the Hercules is mythical. Its horn is capable of lifting a five pound weight. An angry male will make a huffing noise by rubbing its abdomen against the wing coverings called the elytra. The males are the horny ones and use the horn to fight other males to get the girls. Before any action, the males size each other up and smell out the situation. On guard. There may be many skirmishes before a decisive battle. Most of the communication is by pheromones emitted by scent hairs. Well, place your bets now. Yes, we have a winner. Amongst the beetles, size matters. So, this is you, and this is a porn star. The elephant beetle gets its name from the long, slender, upcurved horn that is split at the tip, looking like an elephant trunk. Like the Hercules, the females lack the horn. Oddly, these beetles have the ability to metabolically increase their body temperature as the environment cools, just like small mammals do. Adults may be found on palm flowers, while their enormous grubs, up to five inches, feed mostly on the pulp of dead palm trunks. The larvae take up to four years to mature. The ox beetles have several horns which help the males defend small individual feeding and reproductive territories. The horn size varies with individual beetles, and in this group, the females are similar to the males. Several species of ox beetles are agricultural pests because their larvae attack the roots of sugarcane, mangoes, palms, and coconuts. Male caliper beetles have two opposing horns, this arrangement may help the males carry off females, to what fate only one can guess. In beetle development, the growth of the horn is disproportionate. Individuals can be sorted into two extreme sizes, small with wimpy horns and large with mucho macho horns. Horns are all about sexual selection and are used for grasping, grabbing, flipping and flopping to protect females and territory. Sometimes while two big machos are going at it, a little guy could slip by and get it on with the female. The most famous scarabs are the dung scarabs, whose fame goes back to the ancient Egyptians. Adults feed on animal excrement, the fresher the better, and many lay their eggs on it so their larvae can grow up to be fat and juicy. On the African plains, they're extremely diverse and abundant, just loving those piles of elephant doo-doo. But 
the most common in Costa Rica is the black dung beetle, associated with cattle and pastures. The females take a bite of cow pie to an underground chamber where she lays her egg on it. And there's nothing like being on top of the heap. There are reports of scarabs going for the gold. Some dung scarab species feed on decomposing leaves that accumulate inside leaf cutter ant nests. Their larvae and pupa also live in harmony with the ant. Scarabs come in all sizes. This small, one-half inch species has its own fauna, with a louse cruising all over its body and little red mites living in its armpits. Big-legged scarabs are so colorful that they are used by indigenous peoples in South America as jewelry. The most outstanding feature of the male are long, heavy, curved hind legs that have oversized spars on the inside tips of the tibia and enlarged claws. It's assumed these exaggerated limbs are used to hang on to the female while mating. The female, on the other hand, lacked the massive legs. To move a long distance quickly requires flight. Before a beetle can fly off, it flips up the elytra, the wings unfold, and then the muscles activate. Beetles don't get high marks for precision flying, but they seem to get where they're going. There's a scarab for almost any occasion. All the scarab beetles are easily distinguished from other beetles by the elbowed antenna with three to four laminates. Their tibia is also distinct. Scarab larvae feed on roots, dung, rotting wood, and humus. Now, if you ever get on one of those reality shows, they might just give you that winning edge. And the adults can feed on fruit, leaves, buds, and pollen. Some are significant pollinators. Jewel scarabs definitely would get the best dressed award. This genus of over 14 species of cloud forest scarabs come in metallic gold, silver, copper, and bronze. They're nocturnal, and you can often see them by patio lights. The larvae feed on the roots of oak trees, and the adults feed on oak leaves, which may explain why they are restricted to the highlands. To many beetle collectors, they are prized and highly sought after. A physicist discovered that jewel scarabs do something absolutely unique in the world with regards to light. You know that light comes in waves and photons, but it also is polarized. Getting rid of the polarized light makes our eyes feel better. Ah. Well, it turns out that polarized light is left or right-handed and certain scarab beetles are the only known things, live or dead, that reflect it differently, as this filter shows. A larger species, the silver beetle, is absolutely stunning with its polished surface and blue booties. Many species of cloud forest animals are disappearing because of global warming. Hopefully, the silver beetle won't be another victim of greenhouse gases produced thousands of miles away. <laughs>